Hello and thank you so much for joining me today for another exciting episode of Unboxing. This is Maxi Limit. Today, as you can see, we are having a new product, the Microsoft Surface Pro. Um, this is actually the Microsoft Surface Pro 7. So if you can see at the back, it says Microsoft Surface Pro 7. 7. This just came out and as always I decided to go and grab one for you folks so that we can have a look of what this offers. So again, if you are new to my channel, I do reviews and basically if uh, you are planning to buy any of the product I review, then this is the right place to be. So without further ado, let's crack it open. So before we open the box we just want to see how the box looks like as you can see in front of the box we have the um, the picture of the device itself and on top we have Microsoft Surface Pro on the side of the box again just the Microsoft Surface Pro on the other side we don't have anything and on this side either nothing and nothing so at the bottom at the bottom uh, we have uh, microsoft surface pro 7 with windows 10 and the uh, component what this actually uh, comes with uh, i'll be uh, putting the uh, full description at the bottom so you might want to go and read that through and this comes with uh, a uh, 10 gen intel core i5 processor with 128 gigabyte of storage and 8 gigabyte of ram uh, this is kind of the basic model i know there's uh, some out there with with uh, high-end uh, uh, processor and then obviously this uh, is not that expensive but that's one if you want to buy that one and you might want to put some more money into it all right it's time now to uh, open it so I have my knife here as you can see It's time to lift it up. And right inside the box, we can see the device itself. Let's lift it up. And let's put this aside for the moment and see what else comes in the box. As always, we have uh, some items. This probably might be the quick start guide. And uh, again, if you have never used any uh, Microsoft product before, you might want to, uh, to go through this. You can find a few of this information very, very helpful. So uh, you might want to um, go check it out. Okay, uh, in this video, we don't want to waste time on this right now, so we're going to put this aside and continue. As well on the box, we have, uh, I believe this must be the power adapter. And if you ever own a Microsoft product like uh, this is the, uh, the 7, but uh, I already did a video uh, for the... Uh, for the Pro 6, I will also be putting the link uh, in the description down below, and then so you can compare both um, both models. So this comes with this adapter. Obviously, you want to plug it in and then uh, and then get charged. Um, and this year, this comes with the uh, like a USB port on the adapter so in case you want to charge like let's say your phone or other device you can charge it directly through the adapter that is very very interesting eh? 
and again we have the uh, the connector mm, nothing has changed from the previous version so let's not waste time on this one either and I believe that's all we have in the box yeah there's nothing else in the box all right so now let's bring our attention to the uh, device itself as you can see it's some kind of uh, very light and I got the uh, the gray one I think last year too I got a gray one again I wanted to get the black one but uh, it was already sold out so we uh, stick to the gray one again so um, let's uh, unwrap it Yeah, I can like that sound. All right, and here we go. Yeah, the screen is kind of it's very large. Eh? It's, it's, it feels it's very heavy too. Um, on one side of the device we have, I believe this is a Type C connector, which is uh, very very good. I think it's new, maybe. Um, I don't remember too much if uh, last year we have uh, the uh, the type C connector this is uh, not a, um, a Thunderbolt because I, I believe we cannot just plug in an external GPU to boost this computer up but it's just for data transfer but don't quote me on that right we have a one USB port here and we have the um, I think this is the the charging port and that is all we have on that side at the bottom we have the uh, the keyboard connector um, and then that's it oh I already reviewed that side on this side we only have the uh, the headphone port so if you want to listen to music via your headphone that's where you want to plug it and uh, on top obviously we have the uh, power button and volume up and volume down uh, i believe that is all in front of the device we have a few microphones holes here one camera i believe this is five megapixel and then it looks like we have some other sensor i don't know if you can see it but uh, maybe later on i'll zoom into that so you can see it in front that is everything we have oh we also have a it looks like a speaker one speaker here and the other one right here at the back we have the uh, rear camera which is i believe again that is eight megapixel like i said i will put the the details of uh, I mean the specs everything on the down below so you might want to go read it out uh, and again we have one microphone and again you have the uh, shiny Microsoft logo here and um, that is all I can see on the device obviously again this year we have the um, the stand so we can lift this up and this is again very very solid it can go way at the end it scares me every time i want to push this up but uh, we can yeah it can go completely to the end but you don't want to to force this too much and you might break it but maybe not right so um yeah and inside uh, we have the microsoft again this is uh, uh 128 gigabyte and few other informations there now it's time to um turn it on and see how this will perform all right let's push the power button actually let me use the stand there we go. So as you can see, the uh, the computer has started. We just need to input some few informations to get this ready to go. 
So it's asking me for my language. Obviously, I'm going to use English, even though I speak French. <laughs> and uh, let's Hi wait. There. Oh, this I'm is Katana. And I'm here to help. All right. Sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. <coughs> if you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. All right, let's dig in, like uh, she said. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? No. No. Oh, she can hear me. Which region do you want to use? Canada. Not that you want to use Canada. Is that right? That is correct. That is correct. Should I just say yes? Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, anyway, she cannot, she cannot hear me anymore. Let's continue. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes! You also type with another keyboard layout? No. Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. So I just put my credentials for the uh, internet and we are going to continue here. Now we have some important setup to do. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select accept to use windows you can decline but then you know no windows <laughs> all right like you said we do have to accept this so we have to go to accept so uh with uh windows you could uh, choose to create a new account without using your email address or you could eventually use your email address so in this case i don't want to use my email address so i have to create a username and the password for this computer i'm going to name it maxi limit i'm going to go and okay now type a password then i could uh, use a password or not use a password so i'll just leave it blank Windows can save your spot in apps, files, and websites, so you can keep doing what you were doing, even when you switch devices. Just choose yes to sync your activities. So I'm going to uh, put yes, even though hey, look, I do not me. have any, uh, have any Microsoft to account. I need to do my best work? So I'm going to put accept. <clears throat> Let's set things up the way you like them. First, choose if you want to use your voice to talk with me and other apps on this device. So for the sake of this video, we're just going to use default settings. So we don't want to keep this video so long. So I'll choose if you want to let Microsoft and other apps use your location to help you with. If you ever lose your device. Next, choose whether or not you want to help Microsoft diagnose and fix issues. If you want to help improve language recognition and suggestions for apps and services that run on Windows, you can choose to do that here. If you want tips, offers, and suggestions, asked up for these. That's settings. a lot choose of uh, questions, huh? Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. So while this is uh, actually loading, let's uh, give you some information about the device. So this display, it's a uh, 12.3 inch pixel sense with uh, 27, 36 by 18, 
for 267 ppi and then the like i said before the rear camera is 8 megapixel and can shoot up to one i mean 1080p and the front we have 5 megapixel it can shoot up to 1080p as well and uh, microsoft claimed that uh, the battery life is up to 10.5 hours now it depends on how you use it but uh, if you are an average user this will take you uh, 10.5 hours and this also come with the Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth uh, 5.0 all right so we are back on the uh, on the device and as you can see it is up and running all right so this will conclude today's unboxing please don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below and stay tuned for my next video on my next video we'll be doing the full review of the microsoft surface pro 7 and uh, we'll be looking at the new uh, keyboard that comes with it and also we'll be um, putting the, uh, the device to the test. Alright, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. This is Maxi Limit signing out.